How excited am I? How excited do you think I am? Okay, I'm really excited. Like, crazy excited. So, this is the average gamer, and what we've got here is the long-awaited demo to the remake of the greatest game in history. There, I said it. I said it. Okay, maybe not the greatest game in history, but probably my favorite game of all time. This is the Final Fantasy VII Remake Demo. Uh, full disclosure, this is not a blind run. I played it immediately. Well, as soon as I got home, because, well, that kind of sucked. But anyway, I was stuck at work when it got released. I didn't get home for maybe 12 hours after it got released, but the second I got home, started playing it, because I wanted to play it, you know, for fun, first. Not, not to say it's not for fun, but whatever. I'm rambling because I'm so excited about this game, because, it's awesome, okay? <laughs> but we're going to go on ahead and play the demo. Um, as of now, it is it is Wednesday, March 4th, 2020. We're just a little bit over a month until the release date of the official game, or at least part one of it. And uh, the release of the demo came as quite a surprise, because as of this date, it is the day after the original release date for the game. So it was at least a very pleasant surprise for us to get the demo, but without further ado, let's get going. Uh, we're gonna use default controls. I haven't actually attempted classic mode yet. I will try it later at my leisure. Um, I really have no interest in easy mode whatsoever. I'm just gonna go with normal mode. Normal was fun. First thing I really want to point out here, and just kudos to them for this, look at this. Compare this to the original game, they really made the plates on top of Midgard look like a sprawling cityscape. Like, you can see the individual buildings, you can see traffic, you can see little highways in there. You can actually see like the dividing roads between each of the sectors and the walls between them, and the different reactors. That is... Just an amazing attention to detail and very realistic scale that they added to Midgar to make it like believably city-sized. Not to mention just how grungy and dirty it looks beneath the plate. From what we get to see of this, anyway. Actually, I shouldn't say beneath the plate because we're still very much. Uh... Actually, huh? No, I think it's quite, yeah, yeah. The uh, reactors are definitely above the plate, but this is still uh, pretty grungy looking here. But here we've got uh, our members of Avalanche, Biggs and Jesse, and there goes our man Wedge. Which, if I'm not mistaken, listening to Wedge's voice, I apologize for not knowing the gentleman's name, but I am sure he is voiced by the actor who played Badger on Breaking Bad. And of course, there's Barrett, and there's our man Cloud. I 
And chapter one. Halt! Who goes there? You're up. So, this being normal mode, You're we with us. pretty much nice get to just don't think so. Move around freely and put a whooping on the enemy. Now, what we can do is select commands in the midst of battle, but to swing the sword, we just Who the hell? swing at our leisure. Hands where I can see him. Have fun. So the ATB gauge is what Freeze. we'll use for our our uh, special commands. Why don't we hit this fellow with a fire spell? He can use no weapon. Where the hell did he get the material? Here's our map. And here's our menu. And in this instance, Cloud has fire materia. Not that we can change any of it. Hmm. I notice we can't view his weapons or armor, at least not here. Hmm. And it would appear we've got some quick commands if we want to use his special abilities without having to open a menu. That is very good to know. Ah, okay, there's his weapon and armor. It's under party, not inventory. Interesting. And there's no equipment you ate last time. Interesting, though. Very interesting. Hmm. Alright, let's get to it. Drop the weapon! You got this. Yeah, what he said. They probably should have kept quiet and, you know, avoid giving away their position. You're coming with us. Can't get surrounded. Try harder. Taken down. Soldier Boy's deal. Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. 
Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, uh. Really enjoy the Don't be such a prick, Cloud. I'm also listening to these two jackasses. So what people notice first? I guess I'm not on the same page as people. I'd say you're not even reading the same book. Enough. We're done here. Or even the same. Give it a rest. Oh, they've almost got the door. Nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? There's our target. There's the reactor. Get him, boy! Bring it. So the game hasn't told us this yet, but we can switch to operator mode with Cloud here and do a hell of a lot more damage at the sacrifice of uh, speed and mobility. a good idea to break open every case we find because hmm what does a google medal do huh guess that's something we'll need in the main game anyway things will get a little bit tougher toward the end of this demo so it helps to pick up all the potions and ether we can get our hands on So very cool attention to detail. If you look in the Buster Sword, there's that fire material. Very cool. Huh. Not so fast. We've got company. Well, why don't you help me with that sword you're carrying? Or gun. Sword gun. Same difference. Whatever. Now I gotta kill things. Hope you're happy.
I found it always helps to look off the beaten path just to see if, uh, you know, there's any items to be found. Not bad. This is a very familiar looking bridge, isn't it? This here is the bridge from which we will escape. on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs, too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? <sighs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. In three, two... Damn, I'm good. Who's there? Door! Oh, wait! It's over! That's my line. And here comes the, the Punisher mode that I enjoy so much. I got this place covered. Simmer down, hot shot. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? <sighs> then we're good. I wonder if that someone is Reeve. <laughs> Careful in there. Tough to 
Phoenix down, which hopefully I won't have to use. Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? <laughs> so, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Right, it's not really your business. Tifa and I. <sighs> Beautiful recreation of the president's office. Rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. This pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you sit, it's here sucking up Mako. It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care! You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Mako is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do. Get help. <laughs> Say that again. <clears throat> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? <laughs> Should have asked for more money. <laughs> and there's Materia and Barrett's gun arm. Cool. Sentry Ray can't hit me. I'm waiting. Get your ass out of here. You got this. Do your job, Murph. Shut up and move over. Alright. 
Let's move on. Look what we have here. A laser security system. Great. Those things will hurt more than your pride if you're careless. They'll cut you down to size and then some. But I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. Yeah. Figure out the timing of the lasers. Then make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! Just keep those baby blues of yours on me. First one's simple enough. I think Barrett just ran into one. Whoops, and now I ran into one. That's what I get for being impatient. Let's go kick it to ass. Ah, we can take this hunk of junk. That hunk of junk is a heavy weapons platform. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? We need to hit it with magic. That should give us an opening. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. And wait for the gate to fail. Hit him with a thunder spell. Meanwhile. And now he's staggered. Now's our chance. Go. Don't need to fail me twice. I'm going to enjoy this. Yeah. Shit. What? I mean your age, not your goddamn rank. I, um... <clears throat> Though for all I know, a soldier's rank could be the same as his age. Mm-hmm. Guess that makes you a one-year-old, huh? Live and learn! And 
there's our target. That's our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's get down there. So I just learned today, if you hold R2, you can just slide away down to the bottom. Cool beans. All right, fully healed. Let's get to it. All right, let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Go on, do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are, that you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! timer you'll call Merc oh what the heck I'm feeling adventurous 20 minutes pretty cocky plenty of time What in the hell? 
Oh no, it's the guard scorpion or scorpion hey, sentinel like or whatever. It's got reinforced armor plating, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. <laughs> no other option, huh? Just a moment. I'm gonna fill up that gauge. Uh oh. Got anything you wanna say? Funny way to ask for help. Alright. Now I can blast him. defense system before. Thought you were the expert. So what's your brilliant plan, genius? <laughs> it's my time to shine. <laughs> or go down in flames. If we don't change it up soon, this thing's gonna kill us both. Less talking, more shooting. How about less than from you? I'll go like an old married couple. Let's pull up the field generator. Uh-oh. Get off! Uh, Don't just stand I there. Get him out there. I tried. You good? Not as good as I'd be if you'd actually tried to help me out. Yeah, that's my bad. Kinda screwed that part up. <laughs> Let's go. Take the lead. Yeah, I'll do it. If I heal up. Damn it! This thing is tough! It wouldn't be much of a weapon if it went down easy. Don't compliment the giant scorpion! I'm in kind of doing Barrett there. Yeah. 
gotta heal up when I have Yes, yes, I know. He's getting fucked up. Oh wait. Take damage to aggregate your enemies. Taking damage to your enemies with your limit gauge. When the gauge is full, you can use your break. That's great, because we're kinda of getting fucked up and need to hurt him. No more fighting nice. Uh first things first. Take a out the hell. Cross slash him. Any last words? Let's do this. Neat. Still need to heal up though. Watch the tail. You don't want to be hit by that laser. Huh? No, we so, don't. What do we do? Don't get hit. Take cover behind that debris. Oh. Yeah, better. Hurry up. There we go. There we go. What are you doing? Jeez. Now, go. Try this. Don't overdo it. Steady. Sure could use a break. Get 
Got him. showed you how it's done come on we've got to move that we do where should be covering our way out go 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 hmm. so it's like if you hold r2 he still climbs up the ladder slightly faster that's cool Thankfully, this demo is very generous with the potions. And there he is, climbing with one one hand. I'm impressed. Nice. 
deal with that. On you. Need my help for you. Give him hell. My turn. Take the lead. Yeah, I'll do it. You ain't getting out of this one. Gotcha. Wow, Barrett really did that. That's embarrassing and awesome at the same time. So these fellas, the shock troopers, are pretty damn powerful and pretty damn fast. What we need... There's some fire magic to deal with them. Shit! Back up here. Right. Ah, okay. Got to turn around fighting that shock trooper. A couple of times. Fuck! Some shit in here. There we go. Jesus. Why would I?
Gonna make your eyeballs Is that it? Gotta be careful. Kiss my ass! You got this! Need to heal up. Watch yourself. All right, it's enough dilly dallying. Let's get moving. Uh, this way. Like I said, plenty of time. 12 minutes suddenly become 4 seconds. Well, that bomb's a bit of a piece of shit, isn't it? Sir. But there's an interesting twist. So, Jesse's bomb is a bit of a dud, like they alluded to in the last game. But the Shinra are deliberately blowing up the reactor. One would imagine it would be so they have something to pin on Avalanche. Since Avalanche failed to destroy the reactor and they need to portray them as terrorists. It looks like Shinra needs this reactor to explode. Come on, come on, come on, come on! There's Jesse falling down yet again. If I couldn't, believe me, you'd be the first to know. I'll take that as a yes. Cloud! And Cloud appears vaguely superhuman. Okay, that was pretty cool. All right, come on. Hey, oh, she got a little smirk out of him. And that is the demo for Final Fantasy VII Remake.